Hey everybody, this is Travis again. Um, giving you continuing on with the tutorial here on HTML and CSS3 here, uh, HTML5 that is. And if you remember last time, this is where we left off at. This is what our web page currently looks like. A uh, little bit, a little bit far away from the final product yet, but we're getting there. Uh, on this part of the tutorial, I want to go ahead and focus on the left section and the middle section. And eh, if we get enough time, we'll do the right section. If not, we'll do it to another part. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up our HTML file. So um, inside our HTML file here, um, we have this section ID left, and we have all this information right here. I want to be able to put this um, uh, to the left-hand side of of the website uh, when we're styling it. So here's how we would do that. So in our CSS, uh, we're gonna we're going to put section, because that's the name of it, uh, number, and the reason why is because cause it's called left. Uh, the number is an ID. Um, and then just open and close curly brace. And we're going to float this, well, to the left. Makes sense. And I want to give it a width of, uh, let's say, 20%. Uh, and the reason why I'm using percentages instead of pixels or something like that, because percentages make things dynamic. So if uh, if I wanted to reduce my window resolution, uh, it should be able to automatically adjust itself to whatever size the computer resolution is. So that's why we, we use percentages. It so it makes a lot more sense than using pixels. And also, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I might as well float all of them right now. Let's do the uh, center section as well. Um, I named it center. And we want to float that to the left. And you're probably thinking, well, if they're both being floated to the left. Well, actually, since they're both being displayed as blocks, uh, this one will be floated to the left first. And then this one gets floated right next to it, up against it. So that's why it's doing that. And I'm going to give this a width. And since this is the center portion, it's got to be bigger, of course. So we'll say 50%. And finally, section uh, number, right? Because that's the ID I gave it. And I want to float that to the right. Although you could say float left, and it would work. But I want to make it go away to the right because I want to create a sort of a small buffer there. But you certainly could could write down float left with um, I gotta look at my notes on this one twenty eight percent okay I couldn't remember twenty eight percent and if you're wondering how I got these uh, percentages well before I did the tutorial I created this website obviously and I had to play around with these percentages so I don't necessarily remember all of them that's why I have to refer to my notes sometimes and so now if we go ahead and load our site. Go ahead and refresh it. It should push everything over. Uh, some things over here, some things in the center, and some things to the right. Go ahead and reload that. And sure enough, it did. So just that small uh, code that we just did uh, already makes our website look really nice. So uh, already we're getting things done here. Obviously, there's a lot more to do. And if you notice, my footer is right inside here um, and not down here. And the reason for that. Uh, is because I need to I need to use a uh, I need to clear the margins, but we'll get into that when we get into the footer. But don't worry about it for now that it's on the right hand side. It's not a big deal. We will certainly take care of that later. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and continue on. Um, I want to go ahead and style this uh, left hand side here, and I'll go ahead and and focus on all this later on. So let's go back into our CSS folder. If you're not already there. And um, actually, you know what? Let's do. Let's take care of that footer right now, because uh, it's kind of annoying. And to do that, you would hit clear left. Okay. Now there are. Oops, I I messed up. There we go. Now there's clear left. There's clear none, which is default. Uh, and there's also clear right and clear both. Uh, if you know which margins you're clearing, you you go ahead and specify. If you don't know, a safe bet is to write both. It's always usually safe to write both, but since I know which margins I'm clearing, I'm going to hit left. Now if I hit save, and I reload this, you'll notice that that footer <clears throat> that was here, down in this section here, 
it goes down there, is now appropriately where it's supposed to be, on the bottom. Although it doesn't look that great right now, but that's not our concern as of right now. Let's go back to our CSS folder here. And um, uh, I want to do the compare to. Uh, if you go to our uh, final pro product, we have a compare uh, table here. I want to go ahead and style that. I probably should do the follow me first, but that's okay. I can pick whatever. Let me go ahead and, and style this right here. Um, of course, this is what it looks like right now. So go to my styles. And I named it uh, compare to. So I'm just going to hit number. Compare to as the ID I gave it. Uh, I want to give it a padding of a couple pixels. Oops, a couple pixels. Um, what else do I want to do? Oh, yeah, I want to float it to the left. And I'm going to give it a width, and we'll say 95%. And that's about it for that. I think that's all I need for that one. I should have wrote it down. Let's save. Reload. And it, it kind of just kind of fixed things up a little bit. Uh, if I were to introduce other styles, it kind of would have thrown things off. So that's basically all it did. Uh, I am going to fix this up here eventually, though. Uh, but let me go to uh, back into my CSS here. And let's go down. Let's see. Let's go to. Uh, let's. Uh, Let's center the table images, or let's uh, let's deal with the table images. Let's table TD IMG. So every time there's a table inside the TD element and it has an image, we're going to perform a following rule. And I'm going to make the margin two pixels. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Um, now let's start doing a little bit on the. Let's start doing a little bit on the, uh, let's see, the uh, center, maybe. So we'll go section, number, center. Uh, if you notice, we have it up here, but I could go ahead and certainly specify it again. However, I'm going to be adding something to this, the aside tag, dot, specs, and I'm going to create some rules for that. If you guys remember what that is. Go to our site real quick. I'm going to be styling this right here. And inside there, I want to float it to the right. Just like so. And I give it a width of 35%. Oops. 35%. And I'll give it a border, I suppose. One pixel, solid. Give me some red, green, brown attributes. And if you guys remember from my previous tutorial, you'll know where I got those numbers from. These values here. This is a grayish color. Certainly, you could just put down uh, one pixel, solid, gray. You could write that down too. Or one pixel, solid, number symbol, and whatever the gray is. Uh, there are three ways of doing it. I'm just using RGB values. I think RGB values is more specific. And also, let's go ahead and give this a border radius. But remember, whenever you do border radiuses, you have to add in the Moz uh, border radiuses as well. So let's go ahead and just do that right now. Five pixels. And then the next one's going to be a web kit. Border. I hope they they correct this later on because this really is annoying that you have to write this every single time to do a radius. And five pixels. And lastly, I'm going to put a margin in there of 15 pixels all around. Uh, if you don't specify left, right, top, bottom, uh, it means that there's 15 pixels to the top, left, right and bottom. So that's what that means.
Let's save it. And I'll go ahead and reload this. And should go ahead and place this to the right. And it should give me a little margin here all around. And let's see if it did. And it should give a grayish color. Yes, it did. The border is gray. That's what I specified. And I put everything to the right there. Now, if you look at our final product, you'll notice that it's it's um, it's got some gray in here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and style that as well. Uh, so let's go back to... back to my thing here okay here it is I gotta go section number uh, center aside dot specs li and we're doing that nth thing again uh, nth of type And I want to specify odd for odd numbers. And I want to make the background color RGB again, give it some RGB values. It's going to be a gray color that we've seen on there, which is 211. Certainly, you could write down gray though, or yellow, or blue, or whatever you wanted. And I'm going to do the exact same thing here, except I'm going to specify even. Do copy. Control V. And instead of odd, all right, even. And of course, I'm going to change the color. It would it make sense to have the same one? Uh, background color, I want it to be white. It already is white, but I like to specify it. But just to show you that you can change it to whatever you want. I'll just put down blue. Let's go ahead and save. It's probably not going to look very good, though. I hit reload. And as you can see, it changed everything like that. Uh, so that's how you could specify the odd and odd and even to go the way you want it. Now, obviously, it's blue is silly. I just wanted to demonstrate that you could you could type in blue. You don't have to type in RGB or whatever. But in this case, I just want white. Hit save. Reload, and as you can see, it's starting to look like our final product. Uh, there is some spacing here. We'll be able to take care of that here uh, soon enough. But right now, uh, it's starting to look pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see what's next on the agenda. Well, we could go on to. Uh, we could start set. Um, Styling the paragraphs within that within the center. So again, section, number, center, uh, and I want to target the paragraph tags. And that's where I have my lorem ipsy and my dummy text at. And I want to do font family, and we'll give it Comic Sans. And if that doesn't work, go with Georgia. And if that doesn't work, we'll go with Serif. Hit Save. Uh, and you should notice that the uh, font family should change here. Reload. And sure enough, it's a different font. Let's see, what else can we do? And you certainly could do more things. I'm just doing some very basic things. Obviously, you could change the text height, uh, the line height, all kinds of things you can do on there as well. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna do the. I think I'm gonna do the buy me. Um, no, actually, you know what? Let's continue on with this. Let's, I don't want to confuse you guys too much. Let's continue on with this one right here. Uh, number center aside, and we'll do the list items inside the aside tag, and I'm gonna put color. Give it RGB attribute again. And we're going to put, we'll make this a 51, 51, 51. Uh, we'll get the font size of 12 pixels. Give it a line height of 20 pixels. 
It might be too much though. Oh, hopefully it ain't. Uh, I'll give it some padding. Uh, of padding, I'm sorry, padding left. Of five pixels. And lastly, we'll get some margin left. And I don't want any pixels. I want to make sure it registers a zero. Okay, so let me hit save. Let's go back up to uh, back up to here. It should go ahead and fix some things here. It should get some spacing in here like I wanted to. Let's go ahead and reload. And sure enough, it did. Uh, if you notice, it had some space, some uh, spacing around here. Uh, of course, it changed uh, some of the text on here. So it's starting to look at almost exactly uh, like I wanted to look. And it gave me that space that I was looking for. If you notice in my final product, it's got that spacing there. Uh, so things are definitely coming along. Uh, as you can see, with just very few minutes of coding that we did, it looks almost like our final product. We're getting very close. Um, but just so, just because I don't want to make these tutorials long, I know I've had one that was 40 minutes before, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here, uh, and I'm going to pick it up later on. Uh, hopefully we'll finish the center uh, and, and start styling some of this left here. Uh, so... Hopefully in the next couple parts we'll finish the entire CSS process. Uh, so until then, name's Travis again and I'll see you later.